Gaffer, thank you for joining us. After the incredibly long trip to Stockport on Tuesday night, we face Leighton Orient, table toppers. How's the preparation been for that one so far? Yeah, OK. Uh, obviously, we got back late. Um, so, players um, kind of concentrated on recovering, uh, first of all, from that. Um, and then we'll look at um, what we've got available in terms of team selection and and prepare the team accordingly uh, to, to go to the top of the table. So I'm not really looking forward to the game. I think it's a good game for us. Yeah, how has sort of the preparation changed for this one? Because we had a couple of injuries, didn't we, on Tuesday night? And as you said, we got back late. Is there anything that you have to you know change when you know that perhaps you've got limited availability coming up to the weekend? Not really, no. I think, I think you're always going to, when you, you know, you've been away to a long journey on a Tuesday night, you know, you know that probably you're going to have one day prep in terms of uh, the Friday before the next game on the Saturday, obviously, I think you're always going to use um, the Thursday as a second day recovery um, session, so the players won't do a lot. Um, we might do a bit of video analysis stuff, um, which we've done. Um, so yeah, there was no not you know just because we got a few injuries, there's no real difference in the planning really. I think we always kind of knew it was going to be the same as this. Yeah. Um, in terms of the opposition on Saturday. They are table toppers, obviously. A lot of teams could look at that and go, oh, maybe on paper we're not favourites. But do you, as a manager, relish games like this? You know, just see it as not necessarily a free hit, but just a great opportunity to show that what your side can do. Of course, we're looking forward to the game. I think it's a good game for us to play in. Um, fully respectful of them. Um, they're a good side, obviously. Um, Richie's done a really good job there. He's got some good players. Um, got a really good style of play, which I like. Got good rotations. They play really aggressive, high. Um, send bodies forward. Um, got players who can really hurt you. Good players in the middle of the pitch. Um, so yeah, they're a really strong team. Um, but it's a game, like I say, we're looking forward to, and and you know we're gonna we're gonna go there and prepare to try and win the game. You know I'm not gonna go and sit um, the team behind behind them and, and, and block the goal up we're going to go and try and take the game to them and try and win the game Yeah what is sort of your message to the players you know going into that fixture because our performances recently I know you've expressed it in your post-match interviews the performances have been there haven't they and is it just a matter of just getting a few more things right do you think? I think we've just got to find a little bit of belief you know I think that we uh, we've actually played some really good football I think we just need to believe in ourselves a little bit more it became really apparent to myself on Tuesday night, um, you know, even in the first half, we we find ourselves one nil up away at Stockport, and it was almost like um, we didn't believe that we should be one nil up away at Stockport. Um, so I want the players to find that, um, which we spoke about at length today in the meeting. So um, I think that we are probably in a false position in the table um, compared to how we play. I think that we have had a lot of. Um, people who I know, a lot of people kind of in the game who have said like, you, you know, you're probably in a false position, um, which I think we are in terms of how we're playing now, but we're there for a reason, so we've got to try and get out of there as quickly as possible, starting from Saturday. So, like I say, it's a game we're looking forward to. We know it's going to be a tough game, certainly away from home as well, you know, um, never an easy place to go. Um, top of the table, but we're, like I say, we're, we're really, you know, looking forward to the game. Yeah, as you said, a really tough place to go, but we're hoping to have you know more good numbers of away fans. Obviously, they were fantastic on Tuesday night. You know that far on a Tuesday, you know taking over a hundred is you know for a club of you know you could say our size is, is pretty incredible. And same with Gillingham, I suppose. Is the message to you as always? Just get behind them, and you know they're going to always try their hardest for you. Well, you know exactly that. We really appreciate them. You know, I know the players do. Our, my, me and my staff do. You know, especially at the moment, times are hard with kind of energy bills soaring through the roof and people kind of you know, paying a lot of money out just to live, um, let alone travel all the way up to Stockport to watch their team play. So, you know, I'm really proud of the fans, really, how, how they turn out in their numbers and sing all the way through, you know, on a cold Tuesday night in Stockport. So, uh, yeah, long may that continue. And, and again, on Saturday, I hope we, you know, we take good numbers to Leighton Orient and, you know, try and out-sing the home crowd. So I'm, certain, I'm, I'm sure that they, they will try and I'm sure that they will turn up in their numbers. I'm really looking forward to coming out and seeing them. Perfect. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Dion, thank you for joining us. It's a trip to Leighton Orient the weekend after the very long journey to Stockport on Tuesday night. How's the preparation been for that one so far? 
yeah, been very good. Obviously, very disappointed with um, with the result on Tuesday. Uh, the boys played well for parts of the game, um, but yeah, they're obviously a good side and they're up there for for a reason. So um, the boys have uh, done all the recovery bits today and yesterday, and obviously get, uh, do more preparation tomorrow and be ready for Saturday. Yeah, and obviously a lot of that preparation involves, you know, talking, discussing, you know, where we could perhaps be better in certain areas. And, you know, we were just talking before, and it's, it's interesting to look at, isn't it, our last few games, you know, Stockport, we dominated large parts of that game. You know, as you said, we played really well. Same with Crew, we, you know, we dominated large parts of that game, especially the first half. Same with Gillingham as well, you know, where we didn't pick up any points either. What is it, do you think, that as a collective you need to just sort of, you know, home in on and improve on? Uh, I think there's a few things. Um... But it's not. I don't think it's anything major. The thing is, since the gaffers come in, um, every game we've played, we've had large spells um, where we've dominated every game, and we should have at least, with every game, walked away with minimum a point. Um, so obviously, it's been very disappointing. The crew was disappointing to get the draw. We should have. We absolutely dominated them. So that should have been uh, three points, definitely. Um, Gillingham. Gillingham, we should have at least got a point again. How we dominated the first half, we should have been two, three nil up at half time. Um, and then obviously Stockport, it was a tough one. Um, injuries didn't help, um, but we we dominated the whole first half. So I think we just have to keep sticking with what we're doing and um, trust the process and have more belief in ourselves and keep working hard and work harder. Uh, and I'm sure results will start going our way. We still got a lot of games to play. Yeah, you touched on it very briefly there. Obviously, the injuries have been, you know, over the last few seasons, you know, we've always seemed to suffer with a lot of injuries. And, you know, those two on Tuesday night, they were absolute killers, weren't they? Obviously, Teddy was having a great game in the first half, you know, played a pivotal part in getting our first goal that Pauli converted from the free kick. And obviously, Ben is the captain in centre mid. And you yourself end up having to move into centre mid. And I suppose, as much as I'm sure you'd be happy to play anywhere and, you know, do the job for anyone, it shows the sort of, you know, struggle that you can have, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, obviously very unfortunate that Teddy went off um, as soon as he did, which kind of disrupted a bit of the flow. Um, obviously, Glass going off was a killer, but it was the the first half when Teddy went off kind of disrupted everything quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we kind of just have to pick ourselves up. We have to get everyone back as fit as we can, as soon as we can. Um, and we uh, we got a good enough squad to go Saturday and get a result, definitely. Um, I think we've shown in the last few games that we can go to anyone now with the way we're playing football. Um, and, and get a result anywhere. So we've got to take the confidence. Um, we've got to believe in ourselves and, and uh, just keep working hard and recover well for Saturday. Yeah, I suppose you've just hit the nail on the head there with playing the league leaders on Saturday. There is absolutely no reason why we can't go there and you know get a good result, is there? No, 100%. Um, we've played a couple of teams that are already in the playoff positions. Stockport should have at least got a draw. Um, Salford should have... We, we won mm. um, and absolutely dominated that game. So... Uh, like I said, we've even started the season. I remember that it was second game of the season we played late in Orient, and I think they had one shot, and it was one goal. Um, so we just got to have this belief in ourselves and trust the process, um, and I'm sure we can get the get the win or at least a point. Thank you, Tim.